Very Cute. stupid. Okay. So start streaming and then go live. Oh, it's a little bit crazy. Okay, so we should be live. All right. Hello, Mr. Good Cardoso. Mr. Christian. Mr. Christian, Thanks how you for been? joining today. Um, very <laughs> stupid. Okay. I, I had a little bit of a technical live. issue oh, today. A crazy. Okay, so we should be live. So ho hopefully yeah. to All right. today Hello, Mr. Cardoso. Mr. Christian. Mr. Yeah, thanks for joining sounds, that today. Sounds awesome. uh, I think that you have uh, you have the audio of the live. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <coughs> yeah we should you should be good. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I wanted to make sure that we we didn't have uh, <laughs> weird stuff today because yesterday we had a bit of um had a bit of an issue with the. Uh, with the live stream, so I had to postpone it till today. Uh, and I think, oh, we have a small issue. Okay, uh, I need to show your. How 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 do I select your your video on Discord? So you can actually, uh, I think, in the no, click right click. That, okay, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> yep. Awesome. So. That's so yeah, uh, we will continue today with where we left off when you were last year. Uh, yes. Yesterday, I <laughs> kind of uh, fake stream for a little bit, uh, and actually I went ahead, so I know a little bit of the troubles we are going to see today. But just to do a awesome. recap. Uh, and by the way, I have a, a lot of underscore cheat. Uh, <laughs> files, which are kind of what I did uh, yesterday, but couldn't be broadcasted, so we we awesome. might we might check them out. Um, All right. So on, on, on our previous episode, we were uh, sort of uh, finished porting. We we finished porting the generate logic. Uh, right, because we wanted to debug, uh, but uh, like we were missing the tokenizer, so we just uh, generated uh, tokens, but <laughs> we just got out some no numbers, idea. and that's where <laughs> we left off. Um, and the second thing that was pending that uh, we will probably do uh, today also is a uh, like we, we we need to fix the the sample.py script so okay. which is going to be ported from the sample that was on the original repo right uh yeah yeah so so we, okay. we have those two tasks uh i think i don't know which one do you prefer uh you have to leave soon so <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see, uh, well, especially the part of uh, when we finish the tokenizer and that we actually have something to validate. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. And that's actually, fair. so there are a few things, there are a few observations. So, can you make your font a little bit bigger? Sure. That's And if like we can hide. Idea. Yeah. And if we can hide the menu, because, yeah, I think that the people <laughs> will be will be looking at really, really <laughs> Yeah, fonts. that sounds like a good idea. I will strategically not hide the menu because that aligns with my camera. Ah, okay, perfect. So, <laughs> so that actually helps. Uh, so, so we uncover the, the important things. Uh, right. Let me, let me see. This is good. This is sort of good. Actually, uh, let's keep it like that. I think it's a little bit too big, but I think it's it's good for now because now I can see that. I'm also looking at the stream of my of my phone, okay, so we okay. can see if there is if the font it makes sense. Okay, that is good. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, let's do that. But I have a curveball because I I, mm -hmm. I have information from the future. We will get really bad when we do this as is. We will get really bad results, uh, so I already know how to fix them. But, but which makes sense because last time we were reducing the loss 
But the validation loss was going up. Actually. Uh, it's, it's not that, actually. I think we were actually overfeeding, but le let me show you. Okay. So, okay. yeah. So, so the way that uh, the text is encoded and decoded is, and we can just go ahead to this, is using the tick token library. And tick token, it's really simple. You just so, sort of like these hugging face uh, tokenizers. It has an encode and a decode method. So yeah, it's kind of really simple. Uh, so what we're actually going to do for, for this part uh, to, to, to generate samples like as we are training to let's say do a preview is create like a tokenizer here create like a tokenizer mm -hmm. so uh, we don't have tick token but we can auto import it and uh, we, we, we need to do something else that it's not here and it's that this is like a, let's uh, like duplicate this oops, oops. <laughs> wrong keys uh still getting accustomed to the mac yeah uh, show off <laughs> sorry <laughs> i press i, I press the linux keys um uh, th th this function is is, is uh, like jitted right so we we cannot run a uh, like our arbitrary python here and mm -hmm. what we what we need to do is like well keep, keep the same signature but cre create another one that actually wraps it that calls the tokenizer and that's kind of what i'm going to do so copilot is kind of <laughs> doing it for us so thank you yeah we mm -hmm. just forward it to this one but we get the tokens and 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 we just use the tokenizer we create here and we just decode it so so here just ju just to add some so some signatures here we we, we get like a uh, let's put we, we get a dax array and out of this one we actually get a string so so uh, sort of for free we, we we get here like the sample we get like a sample here and uh, that is good uh, awesome so okay I, I just want to make a simple change that is kind of not 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 too radical, but this will help me in the future because I come from the future. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Christian Oracle right now. So, so uh, I'm just going to change this to accept params. So it's not really mm -hmm. like a, like a big change. Uh, we, we just change this to params. Uh, and, and then when we sample, we we pass the params when we sample. Where do we sample here? Say dot params. Uh, so okay, yeah, we we sample. Oh, we can call this sample like a uh, sample uh, ripper, sample string, something like that. Uh, Mm, okay, these tokens decode list of int. Uh, I think the only thing we're missing is just kind of get, get the zeros. Okay. So with it, with this, we should be able to, to print like a sample. But awesome. let, let's just do it. Uh, so gonna clear the it's gonna clear this um, so Python uh, yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this Let, let's see so so that that is I mean pretty uh, a bit trivial we just wrapped this with a tokenizer um, and, mm -hmm. and and we have we have something, so let, let, let's see if we. Okay, so so we we got 
uh, something. <laughs> uh, and it's it's gibberish. So yep, this ex is expected. Uh, what? Okay. Just to just to make sense, so we're using the Carparty dataset, which is the Shakespeare dataset, right? So we should. Yeah, like, yeah, we're using uh, data Shakespeare, mm -hmm. uh, and and we are uh, j just using the tick token tokenizer, mm -hmm. and 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 that is it. I, I, actually, I want to leave this training for a while uh, because. There's kind of two things. Maybe let's do them in order as if I didn't know how they were going to pan out. Oh no, I, I should get ahead in one aspect. Uh, so, so delete this. So, so next we're going to fix the sample script. Uh, okay. for, for the sample you want to You want to leave the training, right? Because you just canceled the train. Yeah, yeah. But I'm going to do one simple change before doing that. And is mm -hmm. that I, I wanna save the params? I, I, I'm not gonna save the whole state. I, I can. Uh, yeah, yeah, I actually can. Yeah. But it's maybe nicer not to do that. Uh, let, let's leave it like that. Uh, let's leave it like this because it, it doesn't change that much. What I wanted to do is just save params and the optimizer state, and that that could be like similar to PyTorch. So in PyTorch they do it like that. Uh, we we could also do it like that, but uh, they're they're both packaged here in state. We can also just serialize this. Yeah, this would be fine. So so. Let's do it like this. I'm, I'm still confounded and maybe it would be better to unpack this uh, and, and just save them like separately. It's, I think it's up to, to the, I guess, the user or, or the preference. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a matter of preference. There mm -hmm. is one thing that will make it like if you split it, it makes it easier when we're sampling because we have direct access to the parameters. And mm -hmm. we actually don't need the optimizer for sampling. Uh, we do need the optimizer for restarting. Ah, let's leave it like this. Um, so, so, so let let's go to sample. So, sample. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this is the original one, which is the same as the PyTorch one. Just in case I have the cheat. Here, in case <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, 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 makes sense. Case I, I want to use it. So, okay, just kind of a uh, delete the Python stuff. Uh, oof, do we need pickle? I don't know. Let's leave pickle. So yeah, all of this goes away. Oh, I'm gonna do a big favor to Carpathy, and is that I'm gonna. From path lib import path <laughs> because we we live in I don't know Car Carpathy codes like like if we're still like in Python two sometimes uh, I'm gonna upgrade us to to, to modern Python so so pro tip everyone everyone hearing is that make an effort to learn the padlib library especially the pad object it will be useful to have like uh, the operation slash that automatically do the append and check if it's a root or it's a folder it can give it can save you time in the long time in the long in the long run yeah yeah uh, padlib path amazing api uh, always join don't use it anymore uh, yeah. So he, here we're gonna use the restart checkpoint um, method, and this accepts a path, and then a target. Uh, the target oof, I, I fought with this yesterday, but I, I kind of know the answer today. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you can set the target to none, 
And if you do that, you, you get like... Uh, if, if you give it a target, it's kind of a like like a prototype, literally like a type that you want the checkpoint to be decoded into. So so when it's checkpointed, it, it's actually deconstructed to dictionaries, right? And uh, like so, so sometimes, well, you want to have the actual type of stuff like for example a train state is type train state not not like a nested like a dictionary presentation so if you want that you you can do that uh, for example the model arguments they're just a dictionary so they don't change uh, so so basically these we we don't really care much about uh, because they're simple structures, maybe state uh, ha has more stuff, and you could you could want like to to get the actual type when you decode it, right? Uh, so so yeah, th this checkpoint we're restoring uh, is by setting target now. We we just get some like dictionary, dictionary, and we we don't get our original types. Uh, but it turns out that we don't need for this script those original types because uh, our model. So, so okay, we restore the checkpoint, and this uh, logic gets the model arguments and creates the, the model. And then, uh, okay, it does this, which we don't need. It creates like the state dict. Uh, so, so there, there's a lot of things we don't need here. Let's just erase all this. Uh, the, the, the only thing we might need is the params. So we get them from checkpoint state and here uh, oh, params. So, so mm -hmm. th these, these params uh, actually have the shape we want. And we're good to go. So <laughs> when I originally did it, it wasn't this easy. I did like a lot of stuff. Yeah. But but now uh, it's easy. This other stuff we can just leave it there. Uh, we 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 can help this thing by going <laughs> uh, by going to the future. If meta meta path exists. But other than that, um, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, so, yeah, it defines in an code and decode, which is fine. So here, uh, okay, what what is happening in the script? There, there is a start. There is a start a uh, like token, I guess. Token. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're we're going to create like a like a sample uh, here. So this is just a MP like array. Okay, we need to import the Jax stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Copilot. Import Jax. So yeah, we import Jax stuff. Uh, so so we we turn this into a. Uh, jump array. Mm -hmm. And in 32, no, 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 device not needed. And there are some weird. It's not needed either. So, so, yeah, we, we, we just have like a one by one array. One batch dimension and one. Uh, cool. I want one column and the, the, this X. Uh, I'm not, not sure if it's a memory thing or what. Like we, we could have replicated this and then done, done this. Like, range and sample. This, mm. this range like once. I, I don't know what, what is the deal here. Uh, on the Jack side, we do need something additionally. So we need, we need like a like a key mm -hmm. and we need like a step key and we fold in 
cool now that I pi. <laughs> so, so okay, we 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 can jit this. Yeah, we should. We probably want to jit this. So, well, yeah, we 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 can create this uh, as we did in the other script. So maybe let's just copy copy from here. Uh, we can actually just copy copy this basically uh, to this other place and the tokenizer we don't need uh, here we can just decode because see find a love uh, and uh, need to define the print, uh, the print compiling uh, decorator. How to import? Uh, so, so we we, we just have like a, here like a sample stir, and then we sample passing the params with a step key and X. So. Uh, and then we just we just print, print sample string, print the uh, sample string, and we are good to go. Ah, oh, wait. Ah, oh, we should have le left this training. So let's, <laughs> let's let's just make it. I told. I just want to say that I told you so. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't take long, uh, but. In the meanwhile, we, we're going to see... This says the developer that has access to a TPU. <laughs> so... Okay. Uh... Yeah, it's going to compile. Uh... This should work. I mean, it's a very simple uh, mm. program. Uh... So yeah, let, let's just let it run for like. I, think I just I... want to make uh, I just want to make the observation. So uh, like for people that are looking at this, this is really cool that you see that even if we are using we're tracking the randomized size since we are using we can replicate whatever we did on the beginning, exactly the same sample, exactly the same starting point. It's really cool that with Jax, uh, you don't have to. Uh, seed everything uh, uh, start with a uh, with the how how you replicate results. But, okay, that's it. <laughs> okay, David, David's a big fan of the determinism. Um, <laughs> so okay, let, let, let's let's just reach a hundred, and then we can mm -hmm. run the other script and see like the samples, just mm -hmm. so maybe we get like a, a little bit less. Random samples. Uh, it's gonna look horrible, anyways, because I know all the <laughs> things that we have wrong somewhere else. Uh, but <laughs> let's let's just see this. So, okay, N now we can run like uh, like Python uh, sample, and let let's say we want to. It to generate like twenty tokens, and uh, let let let's see if it if it just does it. Uh, yeah, it's object none is non scriptable. So let's see. Ah, okay, uh, we have to change something slightly because in the other script we change it. This should be just ah, che check up. checkpoint. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, and we fix this that elsewhere. Um, okay, it's compiling, so it loaded, and we we get a couple of samples. Uh, cool. And they they are yeah. very random. So what I mean, I I I got I got a training. Uh, to, to a low loss and even then they were very random so it's like uh, okay wh where's the bug 
<laughs> and it turns out that our generate function is uh, has, has a couple of errors. Right. So we, we can see those errors. I have a to-do list of the errors. <laughs> <laughs> So, so we can start. Okay, so, some are just nice things, uh, but. Thank you, Christian Oracle. Use zero padding and concatenate instead of setup. So, okay, for, first thing that I wanted to do, I spoke with somebody from the Jax and Flex team. We don't really need this mask to be a constant because mm -hmm. we have a compiler on Jax, so. Uh, ideally, it figures out that it's constant, and and it can deallocate it if it needs memory. So I think not having it uh, as, as we have it in the PyTorch side, which is basically a constant, it's not a good idea. Uh, it's kind of a small aside. Uh, from our to-do list, the, the first one. Uh, okay, Th there is a note uh, on on the like the, the original on the original uh, PyTorch code that says ah oh, we're doing something here in, in model we we are optimizing <laughs> and uh, it it's here it it's getting the last uh, token mm. And it's it's doing some optimization, and it doesn't make sense at all with how we're sampling, uh, because we're keeping like a constant size uh, vector, and we're we're filling it up. So this doesn't make sense. Uh, so so what we have to do is. Uh, Take take this out. So we we put we put this out, and like we're not gonna have this optimization basically. Uh, and that 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 fixes one of the problems, which is yeah we were ill defining this. It didn't make sense this <laughs> with how we were sampling because in in PyTorch. If we look at the sampling code from PyTorch, uh, mm -hmm. they, they, they have the benefit of being able to expand the, the size of the vector by concatenating, by just mm -hmm. doing concatenating like on the last... Uh, in, in the last... Yeah, on, um, on, mm -hmm. on concatenating new stuff, but we don't do it like this, so... We cannot minus one because that minus one uh, <laughs> is going to be really, really the last one, not not the like the last current mm. one. So so we yes. we don't Oops. do this, Mr. Christian. I think I will be I'll be set for for today because I have a meeting to run. Yep. So see you Good. in the next stream. So you you will add. I guess that you will work on the to dos. Just just yeah. I'm gonna to I'm gonna finish that. this. Uh, you can watch the video. All yep. right. Thank so you for everyone, doing... <laughs> oh, hopefully we'll see you in a, in the next stream. Bye bye everyone. Okay. Bye. Okay. So I'll just continue. Uh, so so that was kind of the first uh, w w one of the first uh, issues there that we we have to fix. Um. The let's just check our to do list. The next issue is a uh, generate has like a like a lot of things that can be improved and and then we have to actually fix like a, a, a bug, uh, two bugs. So, uh, so let, let's get back to model. Uh, so, so first thing uh, from generate, here's generate. Uh, the first thing I want to fix is that I, I want to change how we're constructing the tokens a little bit. 
we're kind of generating a, a thing full of zeros and then replacing some. Uh, it's way easier to, to just create some padding zeros of size uh, max new tokens or the new, new stuff we're going to create. Just create some zeros out of that. And, and then the, like, that's how they were doing it on the PyTorch side. We can use a slightly different style, which is just concatenate, which is actually very simple. So uh, if, if we concatenate the inputs with a new padding, we, we get uh, exactly what we want, which is uh, the vinyl tokens. Next thing I'm gonna do. Uh, cur currently, we are. We, we have the problem that if we change uh, the max max new tokens, the tokens we want, we're kind of tangling this with the the random keys such that if we change this, the set of keys changes. I mean, the, for, for example, the zeroth one will change if you change the the, the maximum amount. And we kind of don't want that. We, I mean, ideally, uh, at least for testing and yeah, for, for better debugging, uh, if we change this, uh, we hopefully get the same sequence. Like the, the first one has the, sec, the, the same key. I, even if we change the length, that's kind of what we want. So I'm, I'm going to delete this. And what we're going to do is that we're just going to pass the indexes here. And we're going to use the, so the, this is I, and what we're going to do is that we're going to create like a step key. And that's going to be a, like a, a folding using the input key so we're gonna we're gonna fold based on the step so since the key that we put in if we put the same key and then we we fold on to the zero step we're gonna actually always get the same key so this is more of what would be ideal for for testing so we just put it here uh, so yeah this is one thing uh, let's see the the second thing is is that we we have a couple of, of bugs but I I do remember them so so let's fix them uh, first bug is related to top K uh, we should not use like a NAT uh, even though that's what I think they're doing on the PyTorch side uh, for this we have to use where so we have to use JMP where, uh, but it, but it, the 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 change is like very like it, the the fix is, is is just changing a little bit the the syntax. I mean, keeping the the same logic, which is yeah where 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 this happens. So so what what is happening here? We have top k. These are the top values like sorted from max to minimum for, for, for the stop and we, we, we just want like the last one of, of these is is the minimum and what the, the I mean the, the logic here is that every value which is smaller than this one will be set to negative infinity uh, I don't know if this is a slight optimization so, if it's set to minus infinity uh, during the softmax, it will get zero probability. Uh, else, we select the the logits. Uh, so, so this is this is just uh, setting all, all the non top k to 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 zero probability. Okay, the the next bug is that actually random categorical accepts the logits instead of the probabilities so so in in 
we, we, we had just like assumed it accepts the probabilities, but uh, it doesn't, so we actually don't need to calculate them. So that simplifies code a little bit. Uh, that is one of the one of the bugs. Um, and okay, the the final thing we have to fix from this function, such that we can maybe generate new samples, is that I don't know. This might require like a mini diagram. Um, maybe. I'm gonna put like some. Uh, let's create some 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 comments here. Uh, like l l let's say we have something like this, uh, where we have a token, a zero, token one, and token two. And this just let's say a, b, and c. So. Uh, let, let's let's imagine we start just with a, let, let's imagine these are padding for now so so we we just have the original one and then uh, we we start with padding so okay uh, let's put x and then let's put like zero zero uh, so Okay, no, these were supposed to be the indices. So, yeah, th th these are, this is I, this, this is the token, and this is, I'm gonna put L for logit. So, let's see, we, we start with, with padding. So we start with something like this, like, maybe, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the padding like this. So, so what happens? Uh, we we get let's say token A. Uh, what we want to do, and we, we, we could actually get more stuff. So uh, let's just pretend we have more. Uh, let's pretend we have A and B. This gives a logit, a whatever. A, X and Y, right? So, so what happens? Uh, we want to calculate token for the index two and for the and then for the index three. These are kind of the new things. Uh, so, what what we have to do is a uh, the the we're we're gonna sample the the next token from the previous logit. Uh, so 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 basically, if we have a, if we want to calculate the token for for index two, we have to use a logit i minus one. If we're here, we we'll, we need to use the logit for for i. So. Um, in the Python script, this was minus one because the both the tokens and the logits kept growing. But here we have to do we actually have to think for a little bit and realize that we want to sample logit i minus one. And uh, I think yeah, th th this is a fix. We we just need to realize that we're doing this and then change this to i minus one and and that we're sampling from from this logit to set the ith token. I think that's the only thing. It was kind of a small thing, but it tripped me up for a little bit yesterday because uh, we, yeah, well, <laughs> like we, we didn't go through the logic when we coded this. Um, th that small detail, and yeah, you kind of don't get the correct results. So. I think, yeah, this is good. We can try to run some samples and see if we get stuff that looks a little bit better. I mean, the model is not trained. Uh, else, we can just like do like a small pause and and let the model 
uh, train train for a while uh, because it it didn't really train that much but e even just a hundred steps we we get a little bit of text that is a little bit more English like this uh, is a little bit less gibberish than what we're getting it, it still has like a random stuff so um, what I'm gonna do is yeah I'm just gonna and okay since we fixed it here we also fixed it for the for the training side so on the training side we can actually see see more samples as we're training <coughs> uh, so so let, let's I guess just wait like a couple like a couple of minutes and, and see what is up uh, but yeah uh, I think well I mean I kind of cheated this episode feels a little bit cleaner um, because when I streamed yesterday I kind of started then realized the video was kind of failing and then I, I just continued for a bit on my own. So this is what I learned yesterday. Um, so, which I <laughs> kind of learned some new stuff. Um, as, as I was doing it. But today we're getting kind of the... Hey, I uh, already know a couple of the answers. So, so it's more of a, like a tutorial instead of... Um, instead of like a live coding where I <laughs> I struggle um but let's see so okay this is yeah we get a new sample uh, as, as the laws approaches zero we, we start seeing like more irregular English uh, yeah maybe we, when, when it reaches zero point something um we can stop it and then run the, the sampler and, and see actually like a, a bunch of of samples. Uh, I don't know, it takes like a thousand steps or so. If I remember correctly. So. So yeah, okay. Um, in the meanwhile. I'm gonna commit some of the stuff we did here. So let's save, let's save our, our main scripts and okay, this one. Yeah. So implement sampling. Okay, so I've been thinking what, like, where, where should I go next with this? Because uh, we we still have like a couple of tasks uh, left to do. Um, like f first, we we haven't implemented like the full s sampling logic. Um specifically there is this else case so if we have a conf inside the config we have a data set and inside that if we have a like a meta pickle that somehow enables us to to load i don't know if we're doing it on the other side and maybe this is not needed i have to a little bit more with the training script but on the training script we do have a lot of things pending so like we, we implemented sampling here but we 
we are still missing some, some like we're missing the resume logic uh, and the and the from pre-trained logic so so loading like the actual gpt checkpoint um, So uh, I think the the resume logic is important. We currently are just rising like a like a runtime error, uh, but we we can resume. We can try to implement resume because if we are actually going to try to use like the bigger data set, that will be. That will start to be important. Uh, well, good thing is that we already have a a bit of the logic that we need, which is that we already know how to like load the checkpoint. <laughs> but we might have to do a little bit more work. Uh, Because uh, we we yeah maybe we have to restructure this a little bit. Currently, we're kind of like spe especially the optimizer. So so <coughs> currently we define a state here. With the params, I don't know if it's, but but we we don't. Ideally, we would checkpoint this. We we would just uh, like lo load the the checkpoint. Um, so I, I think that would be better. Like using using the same optimizer state and that kind of stuff. Because I I, I believe this this should be. Also rest restoring the optimizer state. Ah, it's not. Let me let me see. So <laughs> let's see. It loads a checkpoint. Um, creates a model. Creates a staked it and it loads it. Ah, interesting. So so it seems that this is not. This is not loading the optimizer state. <clears throat> so if it's not loading the optimizer state, then we just need to load params to be equivalent. This is really simple. I wonder if it's like super bad to checkpoint the optimizer state. I mean, it, it is heavy. But but I, I don't know if that, that's kind of a reason alone to not do it. I mean, we, we could do it since, like, um, even in the PyTorch code, the optimizer state is being serialized. Uh, we are also serializing via the state. Um, The, the state uh, argument. Let's just see if there is like a string, like an optimizer string. Ah, uh, okay. It, it is loaded. Ah, uh, okay, okay. It is loaded after the fact. Okay, so we, we can actually just do this. A Okay, no, there, there are things that... Hmm. Not sure how naive, naive we can be. Uh, okay, okay, no, it's not that bad. Uh, I think it's not that bad. We just have to freeze some stuff that is not being frozen. Uh, 
Hmm. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I think we, we can do some workarounds. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we can try to do some workarounds and see if we <laughs> if we get it working. Ideally, uh, we my, my my ideal solution, but we would have to restructure the code to support it is uh, we initialize the state like in a function and then because we only need sort of the types we can initialize them in um in 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 a Jax dot eval shape, which runs some abstract abstract evaluation. It doesn't run anything. Um, and using that shape, uh, using using those, we can load the model. Uh, and and then uh, like we we don't load it twice into memory. That would be that would be the ideal situation. Uh, so we we can try something like that. Yeah, we can try something like that. Alternatively, I wonder what what happens if we do it inside JIT. Is it too crazy to do it inside JIT? Because let's see, are they loaded as constants? I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Are they loaded as constants? They might be loaded as constants. So they're loaded from NumPy and converted to arrays. Uh, that might work. We do it inside like a JIT context. Okay, yeah, there's kind of a couple of options there. Um, But we, we can tackle that on, on, on next on the next um, on the next stream. Uh, we're almost at the hour, so I'll leave it there. Uh, so let's see. We we trained uh, our our GPT model to. To, to uh, let's say, I don't know, it's obviously, it, it's, the, the training is just started, but we, we train it for a couple of thousand steps, um, and it actually it starts to, uh, we see the values, it starts going up already, so uh, we we're actually starting to overfit already. Uh, I think, yeah, we can kill it now and then run the sample script and look at some samples. Hopefully, they're a bit better. Let's put like, I don't know, 40 tokens. Um, So, yeah, remember this train from Shakespeare? So a lot of things uh, look like like if it's starting like a, a book. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's clearly not on training. Uh, I guess the nice thing is that uh, at, at least we have sort of English. Yeah, we we <laughs> we are doing English. Um, oh, cheers, word. So so I, ideally we we just leave this training to till it starts reaching like a like a the laws approaches zero more more, and this should get better and better. Uh, we are overfitting, which I, I don't know if we should try to solve because it's a, the data set so small and then we, we, we 
have to start like, I don't know, introducing dropout, um, adding, adding more, uh, maybe less parameters, I don't know, stuff like that. So, so uh, yeah, I don't know if it's uh, worth, worth it. Um, uh, instead, uh, what we can do is try to use, use the, the, like the real data set. So that, that, that will require. Uh, to get like a, I don't know, like a, another machine, because when I tried to do this the first time I got like a, out of memory. Um, this time, who maxing tokens 500. Yeah, let's, let's see the default sampling. Uh, you can get like a like a new machine and and try to load the data set. Um, one thing I was wondering if we could just stream the data set, although the way it's constructed, it loads like a huge, huge array. I don't know if it's possible to to not do this and instead. Okay, so it's it seems that uh, it puts the terminate token like very quickly, so we're not seeing anything anything new. Uh, <laughs> we can also start with something like the, uh, maybe. Yeah, let's start. Uh, Start something. Uh, start the. Ah, wait. It's not like this. Okay, yeah, not ideal, but almost, <laughs> almost English. So I guess it, that's good for now. So yeah, I think this is it for today. And yeah, if there are questions for the people who are live, I can answer your questions. Else, um, we can continue on the next chapter and ho hopefully start training a uh, GPT with a with an actual uh, like a, a, a big data set which is kind of the goal on on our TPUs okay uh, uh, yep okay I'll leave it at that thanks everyone who joined See you in the